Riot has just released an article about the champion pricing. I'm also going to show you this really cool life hack that I came across today. The entire cost of champions will decrease by more than 140,000 blue essence. They also included a preview of some of the changes. Most champions will go down in cost except for the champions released in the past two seasons, 450 blue essence champions since they can't go down any lower, and the rest that won't go down will most likely stay the same. LeBlanc and Shaco are already confirmed as staying the same cost. They're also changing Jin to 4444 which is one of the best updates we've seen this year. Now something important to note is Riot stressed twice in this article that they're going to try and avoid increasing the cost of any champion but it's possible for champions receiving VGUs and CGUs. So knowing all of this information it would be a very good idea to disenchant nearly all of your champion shards now. Even Riot recommend doing this. A redditor offered some advice for disenchanting which you could follow however I'm going to keep it simple and show you how to quickly disenchant hundreds of shards since I think a lot of people are going to be in this position where you have a lot of champion capsules and shards just sitting in your loot page. First you'll need to download Hextech but better from GitHub. There's actually a few of these tools but I found this one the easiest to run. If you didn't know GitHub is completely safe and open source so anybody can see the code and verify it. The tool is approved by Riot and many people use it already. It's very easy to use, there's no installation required, you simply open the tool from your downloads while logged into League. You can even delete it after doing this if you want. Once you've open the tool, click on load champions, you'll then see all your shards and how many of each champion shard you have. Now for any shards that you want to keep and don't want to disenchant, then click the down arrow until it says zero. So this means that the tool won't disenchant champion shards that have the value zero. If you want to keep some of the duplicates and disenchant the rest, then change the value to how many copies you want to disenchant. Since most champions will lose value, I recommend disenchanting every single shard except for the champions that cost 450 blue essence since they could go up in value later on. An easy way to see which 450 cost champ shards you have is to sort your loot page by value and all the 450 champs will be at the bottom. I've also put a list of them on the screen too. So have a look at the 450 cost champs on your loot page and change their value to zero on the Hextech but better tool. If there are any champions you want to keep, unlock or upgrade mastery at a later date, then change those champions value to zero as well and the tool will not disenchant them. Personally, I just disenchanted all the shards except the 450 cost champions. If you want to disenchant every single shard in your loot collection, then you don't need to change any of the values. Once you've finished changing the values or you're ready to disenchant, then at the bottom left select the drop down box above process and select disenchant. Then click on the process button and it'll disenchant all of your chosen shards automatically. For me, I had more than 200 shards and the tool stopped working halfway through. So I quickly closed it and reopened it and was able to finish the rest. It didn't take long at all and was 100 100 times faster than doing it manually. I'll post links to this below, it's completely up to you if you want to use it. You can do your own research but I've seen a lot of people post about these tools on the League subreddit several times over the last year and everyone loves it. Thanks for watching, see you next time.